part two, put an, end, put an end to homelessness. I'm now talking to... James. James. And he, Hi. what's he called? I've met him at the Open Hands. He's now giving me some information about the homeless activity. James, tell me what you just told me around the table just now. Well, I just personally think the government should do a lot more than what they're doing, to be honest with you. Right, these places are absolutely essential and they are helping people. They're doing their can. All right, they are got their hands tied like everyone else has. I'm, I'm sure they have, right? And there's a lot of things going on. Some people do fake it because probably, they, to be fair, they probably don't perhaps they're under addiction, perhaps yeah. they're under mental health problems and all the rest of it. Yes. But the point is... That some people are homeless. That some people are homeless. And they need help. And they need help. Don't get me wrong, people also are addicted. I will put people who are addicted, probably have got mental health problems, or are addicted. They also need help. Everyone needs help in as many ways as possible because of people who go, this happens, this goes in a loop. There's, I, people know people 5, 10, 20 years even. For, yeah man, yeah, yeah man, no, I, so I agree. So what's called it? Obviously, Open Hands is a what? A charity scheme that helps people? Yes, absolutely. And as as Mary was telling us, um, you get um, re a referral system. That's right, yeah. You could go through the Red Cross, the, Do the Dawn yeah, Centre. Yeah, quite a few places, yeah. Basically, and get a referral system. Yeah. So you could get help here, what's it called? Are you open on a Tuesday? And she said a Tuesday. Tuesday and a Thursday. And if you look closely there, Tuesday. At the times are there. Meal time. And also meal time. Uh, and, I, I and I've looked inside, I've had a look inside, I'm not going to really go inside because I don't really want to um, yeah. thingy anybody, but what's it called, um, I've gone inside, they've got clothes, they've yep. got food, they've got washing machines for people who have been referred. Yeah. Yes, we yeah. got we got we're gonna put open hands on a map right now. This is where we are. I'm Absolutely. stepping out. Absolutely. Stepping out, stepping out, stepping and out. And it's not what I was about to say. Also, there's places in Leicester like the Dawn Centre, okay. right? The Dawn Centre and a few other charities around the city of Leicester or oh, others are doing the same things. Um, sometimes, perhaps, they probably need a little bit more coordinated to, to work together, perhaps. But like I said, it, it, also the council could perhaps do a little bit more. I think the council doing okay compared to some other councils. I've heard some councils are better than others, but it's the government who really need to. It doesn't matter if you're the Conservatives or Labour or... Whoever I, they are. Whoever they are. They need to have some more coordination they, on the matter. Yeah. Uh, so James it was, James, yes? James, yeah. What's it called, James? So what's it called? You were homeless at one point and now you're slowly getting yourself on a new path. You're in a hostel, you said? Yes, I'm in Mayfield. And, and you're, you're... You don't need to really know the... The, the specific um, hostel that you're in, no. just that you're in a hostel at the minute, you're yeah. trying to get yourself sorted. Yeah. So you have been on the, on the roads. Yeah. You have been in a situation where you're sleeping in sleeping bags. I was in, I was in a tent. Just, just, give, just give us a quick summary of how your homeless situation was. What were you doing? So well, what it was is because my benefits got stopped, right? Okay. Um, and basically, because it was changing over to universal credit, credit yeah. And because I work part time as well, I like to emphasize: it's not everyone who's um, homeless um, d is actually lazy, because that's or oh, actually fact, people. That's do, stereotypical, should you say? Stereotypical. Yes. Like, I have to point out, I, I'm still working part time. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's also yes. I'm in what you call catch twenty two. Okay. Okay. And where I'm wrong if I'm doing that, I'm wrong if I'm doing this. And at the end of the day, you know what? The people like us, people at the bottom, whether we're on part time jobs or people at the bottom, because even if you got working full time, you still could ch chance of losing a place. I've heard of it even in Leicester, but more in London. Yeah. But I think there should be more um, barriers to say, OK, if you're getting close to it, more barriers to help you to make sure you don't get homeless. And if you do get homeless, to help you to in situations where um, to get you back quickly on your feet, because it's very easy if you're on the streets to fall right to the bottom. But, uh, uh, and, that, and that's basically it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So what's going When you were at the bottom, you were sleeping in what, a tent? A tent, yes. And what's it called? So what, what steps? Just walk us through the different levels that you took to get yourself out of the situation. Well, so you were in a tent. Yeah, yeah, I had to go backwards and forwards to this the, um, dawn centre to make sure to get temporary uh, sheltered for one, even for one night. So you applied yourself because the, the well, I spoke to Gordon and Neil and they yeah. said that the, the, the dawn centre has different rules and regulations. How That's did you, right. How did you find the dawn centre? 
It was okay, but it could do a lot better. Okay, it could do a lot better. Because some people don't want to be told, okay, then take the telly off, or you've got to come in at this time, or you can't have a pet, or you can't do this yeah. and you can't do that. But then I think if you're homeless, you have to put up with the situation that you're in well, until you get into a better situation. That's true, but sometimes um, when it comes to it, um, people also on the streets want to be treated as humans, not as a machine as well. Okay. Which okay. I can understand that point as well. As well. As well. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I, I can as well. Because obviously people are grown up and they're in a different situation. Yeah, yeah, because the people just want to be, basically, don't want to be treated like children because they just want to also go to the next step and treat it as like adults, like human beings. Okay, so you went through from a tent to the dawn centre, back and forwards. That's right. Getting shelter, getting help. What happened, yeah, yeah, what happened but, after you took these necessary steps? Well, worse. then they said, the council it's said, the then they put me into a permanent um, hostel. Um, basically, from the hostel, so this is where I am now. But in the meantime, I've got a key worker. It's hopefully going to put me into a permanent place. But at the moment, I'm all right as I am. So So you went from a tent yeah. to back and forth to the dawn centre. Yep. Then what, 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 what did you do after that? Uh, basically, from there, it's now I'm just in a hostel. Yeah. Got my own room. Yeah. So, um, basically. So, from, so, 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 from the tent yeah. to the dawn centre, back and forward. Going through the rules and regulations. That's right. Right, what's it called? And after that, you got you got yourself a key worker. Yep. Yeah. And the key worker helped you apply yourself. Yeah. And now you're in a hostel. That's right. You're on your way then. I'm on my way. From being out of homelessness. Yep. To getting someone to getting somewhere permanent. That's it. Yes. I'm happy with you, James. I'm happy with Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Chill no, ATV. We're out.